everyone, this is Nick UC Soy from King.com. This is a guide for Crescendo Catcher, currently the newest game released by King.com. We'll go over one of my games and cover a few things in order to help you reach a higher score. On to the games. Okay, so I'm going to select Paris. That's the stage I exclusively play. It's easier for me to see objects on here. So at the beginning of the game, you'll just want to make a few quick swaps, trying to remove the vacant tiles that need to be cleared in order to advance to the next stage. And at the same time, you should be preparing those rainbow bombs, the bombs that glow pink, but once the music climaxes, they turn into those rainbow bombs, and they're like those hyperspheres in Bejeweled, where they clear all of the same color. So at the top, I've got a yellow one ready to go. Accidentally pull it up, but I've got a red one now at the center. And I'm going to make the swap in a bit once I can get everything lined up. There we go. Got a purple one. There we go. And while that's happening, as you can see, objects are constantly flying down, giving me points. And that also serves the purpose of uh, clearing tiles faster. And now I'm on level two. Doing the same thing here, using that power up to clear a whole row of tiles, accidentally blew up a bomb there, trying to try to save those for the crescendo modes. That helps a lot in level advancement. Um, trying to clear some tiles here, waiting for crescendo mode to go off. Accidentally used that bomb too fast. There we go, crescendo mode. Purple one eliminated. Trying to set up a red bomb here if I can. Gotcha. Got a blue one right there. And as you can see on the bottom again, tiles are getting cleaned out. I've got golden notes coming down too, which is helpful. 1,000 points a piece, so adds up eventually. Trying to clear the last tiles so I can move on to the next level. Got that one. Let's see, got one more to go here. Level three. Got a power up, but I'm going to save that for later. If I get stuck with a certain tile needed for advancement and I need to use it. Trying to clear some rows here. Got crescendo mode going off. Got the reds. Trying to eliminate more tiles here. Don't have anything ready for the blue down at the bottom, but I got a red, yellow one there. I got a red one ready to go. Use the purple. And now I just want to move on to the next level. So I'm going to be removing the last tiles needed to advance. I'm going to use my power up there, level four. Same idea here, trying to advance to the next level just by clearing those tiles as fast as possible. Try to work the bottom first if you can, just so that things also chain and swap at the top. Let's work for you. Waiting for Crescendo mode here. Got the yellows. Ooh, yeah, the green one accidentally blew up, but I've got a blue one here ready to go. Oh, huge explosion. Messed that up too, but it's okay. Trying to clear those last tiles if I can. Got the blue one there. Got four more, three more now. Got one more left. Trying to work the board here in an effort to get that swap. Got it. Level five. Trying to clear the board while setting up a crescendo bomb. Gotcha. Yellow. Going to do the greens here, then the reds, then the blues if I can. Just got a huge explosion. That was actually kind of a fluke, but hey, I'll take it. Now, I've almost got this level finished. Just going to try to work the boards a bit more, trying to get those last tiles out of the way. Not having much luck with that. <laughs> Trying to clear this without resorting to my power-up. Got two more here to go. I'm going to use my power-up there. That's kind of hopeless with the corner. And I got that, so we're on to level six. Okay. Trying to clear some tiles here, making use of the limited time I have left. Since I get 200 points per every vacant tile removed, um, definitely going to help me reach a higher score as time winds down and I probably won't get another crescendo mode so my sole goal here is to remove those tiles as fast as possible while the clock's ticking down and that's
that's about it. So I've got an end score of 144,000, which isn't too shabby. Uh, that can usually place well in a progressive tournament. Maybe you can run a couple dozen bucks, maybe around $50 if you're lucky. Uh, my highest score so far has been around 150,000. And with that, I was able to take first place in a progressive in which I won 385 bucks. Yeah, pretty nice. And that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me directly at king.com. Again, my name is Nick UC Soy. Uh, I post quite often in the blog, so if you can't spell out my name, uh, you'll find me there. Or you can just shoot me a direct uh, message email to my Cash Gamers channel, which I check every day, and I'll get back to you quickly. Okay? See ya. Good luck.